as the, as the output on the Hadoop file system, the program needs to copy back to them. So, input not found. I think there's something I will. Oh, okay. Because I forgot to type the 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 class name of the program. So, I think it's quite promising. We faster than the previous standalone version because we put the data not on the show file system rather than that we put we use the Hadoop file system to distribute it on the local disk so the response will be much quicker than we did on the standalone version so you can see there is message coming up of the status of the map task and if it is a long program you can also use your browser or any Linux uh, test browser to monitor the status of your running jobs. So right now the job is done and I can check it with using the uh, Hadoop command list output. So the output had the same name rather than that we add the Hadoop file system at the prefix of what we said before is a user train output and then partition uh, that file name so you can also check the result with using cat output and then star to see all the files within that uh, Hadoop files directory Hadoop file system directory so Okay, I think uh, in my side the Hadoop program is done. Um, and the time right now is almost. I think I still have time to run the bus program, and then I'll probably will just run through it quickly. Okay, so for the bus program, you can follow the slide if you can uh, the slide 36 the preparation part because similar to the workcom program we need to first put the input on the uh, uh, Hadoop file system first so the files is already located on your home directory so we just need to use this command You copy them back to the file system. And then plus input. Then we need to copy the Hadoop program and database from the local disk to the Hadoop remote file system. And the BLAST program actually is located uh, on the on user localhost and then BLAST and then the BLAST program and then BLAST program and db you can just copy the command on this on the slide and then if it works then finally we need to run the program Yeah. 
that. Uh, oh, I need to see the command. So what I need to modify from here is much more easier. Now I just type in the command to run the Hadoop Blast program and hopefully we'll get this phone uh, within 5 minutes. Yes, it's coming back. Okay, I think uh, the map key. some issue about the uh, command line windows so Okay, the blast program is running correctly right now. So, uh, for you guys, maybe you just need to follow the tutorial online and the slide, 
to finish the blast program sometime um, after this section. So I probably will show you guys the results of the blast program by using this command Hadoop file system and then cat blast output and then start. So this is the, almost the same as the blast program output. Uh, if you use the standalone version online, we, we point out on the first exercise of the tutorial. So I think that's it for today. Any questions from the other side? Actually, Steve, yep. Uh, Steven, uh, can you uh, please explain the difference between uh, slash put and slash copy from local? Because in when you transfer slash the file, put, uh, actually is uh, putting the entire directory into the Hadoop file system, uh, and the the last parameter of the put is the directory name. And meanwhile, you mean the copy from local, which we need to be specifically as a file, not a directory. So this is the difference. So it's the file and directory differences. So I think you guys also may have some machine issues today. I suggest you guys using different, uh, because we are among 10 sites, I think if you guys use different time, I mean, uh, you, after you after this session, if you connect to the cluster, it will be much more better, because we are not connected at the same time. And then you guys probably can follow the tutorial online, uh, and then make the work count and then blast program run correctly. Um, I suppose if you guys still have any question, you can ask us in the uh, Google Groups.